guys, welcome to another video. My name is Kathy. My name is Puria. And today we're gonna take you along on our Saturday. We are planning to go to the zoo with Kian on board. And he's already very excited. Then later we might go for some lunch and yeah, let's see what the day brings. Zoo chale? Yeah. Yeah. Well, somebody's already very excited and we are already on our way. So let's go. Going to the zoo is one of the main Saturday activities here in Vienna. Um, you will see, so once we arrive there, there are lots of families with the kids, of course, because during the week, it's very difficult to go to the zoo with your kids. So most of them either plan it on Saturday or on Sunday. So we are almost there. But we still have to search for a good parking spot, which is very difficult to find, especially on a weekend. So let's see how we do. So we normally don't come to the zoo only for the animals. Um, so the main reason is the zoo is within a huge park area. So it's really beautiful to walk as well. It's like going to a park on a weekend, just enjoying the weather um move a little bit around yeah and get your kids a little tired so they fall asleep <laughs> exactly and as a bonus you also see some some animals inside and for that we have actually bought an annual ticket how, which how much was it it was like around 50 euros it's around 50 euros for the whole year and kids are of course for free Mama. and we ooh, um yeah we're still searching for a parking spot um yeah so this is actually perfect for families because they can just go anytime yeah papa what's gay yeah he's already very excited and he wants to see the giraffe as soon as possible so yeah as i was saying uh the ticket annual ticket is around 50 euros and it's just perfect for us we can go any time of the year and yeah that's what we're gonna do today and we are still on a hunt for our parking spot now we're pretty far away so we would have to walk to the zoo now parking mail guys so we found a perfect spot Yes, baby. No, no. So we just um, stopped at the supermarket, got some snacks to eat because we just wanted to avoid the overpriced food that they have at the zoo. So yeah. Hey. 
किन आगे जाके देख सकता और देखो मंकी और ऊपर जा रहा है So we are done with the zoo. Um, because we have an annual card, we only spend around two hours. Normally, there two to three hours sometimes. Um, I would really recommend if you live in Vienna, buy an annual card and just spend a couple of hours. A couple of hours, not too much because it's going to be um, overwhelming for the kids. So Kian always comes here and just checks out two or three animals, and then he normally goes and sleeps in the in the pram. Yeah. And it's really huge so you can never cover it in one whole day anyways. And the kids have fun if you come again and again. Yay! So yeah, now yeah. we are done and by the way that's the Palmen house which is like a tropical Yeah. It's the building itself is very famous and very old and part of this whole Schönbrunn uh complex now for for centuries I think but um, yeah it's like a tropical house also it's included it's included in your annual ticket so if you want if you're interested just go and check it out check the inside okay uh, we're done we are going to get into the car and go for lunch and have something to eat I would say so, should we go for Iranian food? I know a good restaurant. I also know a couple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's we go for had Iranian food. Iranian food, the, the best, restaurant for The Hawaii. best Iranian food here in Vienna. So, guys, we're headed back to our car, but I just remembered we completely forgot to mention. Um, where actually the zoo is located in Vienna. Um, it's actually in the 13th district and it's in the, on the complex of uh, the summer palace of Sisi. Um, it's called the Schönbrunn Palace. It's one of the most iconic sightseeing places that you can see as a tourist. And it's, it's a huge area. So they have this, this Palmen house, they have the, the Schönbrunn Palace, and the zoo on one ground but they're kind of separated and a huge garden actually and, yeah and a very big garden um sorry i'm out of breath because this one here um yeah so it's located in the 13th district where also the schönbrunn palace is and it is one of the most iconic districts in Vienna. It's one of the most beautiful districts in Vienna. They have beautiful houses. We can't really show you around now in the 13th district because we are very hungry and Kian is also very hungry. So we're gonna go straight to the car and get ourselves some yummy food in our tummy. Thank you. 
चले क्या हाथ धोने चले Good, good. <laughs> so guys, we are back at home. Um, it was a very beautiful day, I think also for us and for Kian. So we enjoyed the beautiful weather in, in Vienna today. Uh, we had around 27 degrees, so we walked a lot in the zoo area, in the castle area of Schönbrunn. And yeah, I mean, we followed up uh, with a delicious late lunch, early dinner um, at our favorite Iranian restaurant. I had I had very tasty kubide, which is my favorite barbecue Yay, dish. Um, it's basically <laughs> minced lamb and, and, and veal, actually. Minced lamb and beef or veal. And I had some mahi che, which is maybe not so known um, in the non-Persian community. Um, you well, always go for kubide or juje for the grilled items. But I really like mahi che. It's a lamb stew, could you say? Lamb stew? shanks, basically. Lamb shanks. And really tender. I don't know if you could see it in the video, but it was like falling apart with a spoon. And yeah, Kian also enjoyed it. It was served with some Persian rice, with some herbs and barley. Yeah, which, which are... Stinky beans, I think, in English. Are these stinky beans? Okay. But they don't really stink that much. But they were delicious. Um, and some... What's it called? A jus? Sauce? Um, broth? Yeah, broth. Lamb broth. And it was really good. And we had a couple of refreshments. I had a very, very delicious and refreshing... <coughs> <laughs> lime and mint Persian lemonade and uh, Puglia took the traditional yogurt duh yeah. and yeah and we followed that with a delicious dessert called Napoloni mm -hmm. which was to be honest not my favorite today Today it was different. Yeah, it wasn't. Um, it wasn't sweet. It, I'm not sure about sweetness, but it normally it has this pudding texture. It had the pudding texture. No, it was. But it didn't have any saffron or like yeah, rose true. water. Yeah, it was missing the Iranian spices basically. Yeah. Um, but it was. In my opinion, it was missing the pudding texture a little bit. It was a little bit too creamy. Mm. But otherwise, yeah, it was okay -ish, I would say. Yeah. Would I would I try it again? Probably yes. Yeah, Just because we know that we have had a better one in the same restaurant. In the same restaurant. Yeah. yeah. So we would give it another try. So yeah, after that, we were pretty much done. We were very tired or still are very tired and Kian desperately wanted to go home and play with his toys and draw so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna just chill at home do some housework some household activities and then yeah call it a day so guys if you liked the video give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments below if you have any questions uh, or any input on future videos. Yeah, and, and if you want to see this kind of a vlogish video again, just let us know in the but, comments below. But, 
Kian, bye bye kar de. Kya? Bye kar do. And don't bye. forget. Oh sorry. Bye -bye. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe, but otherwise, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>